page 55 of your Cardiac Dysrhythmia Interpretation book. I now want to talk about the uh, etiology of uh, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. And there are two primary causes. causes. Um, first is reentry, and about two-thirds of PSVT are the result of reentry. And the second is pre-excitation syndromes, which I'll talk about in this separate presentation. So let's talk about reentry and, and what happens here at the AV node or, or the AV junction, the perinodal tissue. If we look at uh, this area of the heart under um, uh, a little bit closer, uh, you recall from one of the earlier presentations that the AV node is composed of um, different areas, uh, sort of um, drawn here in red, of non-conductive tissue within the AV node. And so when a wave of depolarization uh, hits the AV node, it has to weave its way around these areas of non-conductive tissue. And that, in a way, slows the impulse down through the AV nodes, allowing time for the atria to contract. Well, uh, these areas of non-conductive tissue non-conductive tissue are also perfect for um, creating uh, the right circumstances for re-entrant ectopic foci to occur and re-entrant tachycardias to occur. So if we break it down even further, um, we look at this diagram here. What happens in re-entry is that there is a uh, wave of depolarization that uh, travels in this direction and um, it encounters an area of non-conductive tissue like we see up there in the AV node. And what happens is um, if the circumstances are right, either because of ischemia or disease or other circumstances um, or just underlying um, abnormality in the AV node, then the wave of depolarization goes off in this direction. But when it goes in this direction, it encounters um, a group of cells here which are still in their refractory period. They're, so they still haven't recovered from the previous impulse. But in the meantime, the wave of depolarization travels around this area of non-conductive tissue and makes its way off to the rest of the myocardium and travels back around this area of non-conductive tissue and uh, comes back around. And now when, when it um, uh, reaches this area that was previously blocked, it now finds it's able to uh, get through that area. So now it's conducting and it re-enters tissue which has depolarized and repolarized, giving rise to an ectopic impulse. Now, if this happens in uh, sequence, like time and time again, over and over again, um, it gives rise to a re-entrant tachycardia. And this is what we see in paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Two-thirds of these are the result of uh, re-entry at the AV node. 